Toastmaster, uh, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. Would you believe that in 50 years, nobody from Hollywood, no Hollywood director, no Hollywood producer has ever contacted me to make a movie of my life? And some of you might be a little bit surprised, but not me. Because I know that I am the epitome of the ordinary guy. <laughs> you see, I have never murdered anybody. I have never robbed a bank. Um, I have never hopped from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship. And so when Hollywood guy looks at my life, they <laughs> Heck, I've been married for 30 years to the same woman, and I still love her. I guess I should check if she still loves me. <laughs> I have two sons, very ordinary guys. One son is a product manager in a high-tech company. My other son he is studying dentistry at uh, Tufts University in Boston. So, I am an average Joe, but my name is not Joe, of course. My name is Khaled, and I always have to spell it out, K-H-A-L-I-D. For the, um, throughout my many years, um, of course, I've, I've developed a thick skin. People have called me Khaled, Khalid, Khaled. But for the uh, English speakers, the correct pronunciation would be Khalid. Khalid. <coughs> for those who can speak Arabic, uh, Spanish, Hindi, French, um, in their languages, the kh sound is the real correct pronunciation is Khalid. But Khalid will be just fine. <laughs> so, um, when I was, I, I was born in Pakistan. When I was seven years old, my family moved to the UK. And the memory that sticks out in my memory banks from that time was my first day at school in grade one. I didn't know a word of English. So I was surrounded by all these kids. And kids can be really cool. So they would say something and they would nod their head um, and I would nod my head and then they would laugh. <laughs> and then they would say something else and they would shake their head, and I would shake my head, and then they would laugh. So nevertheless, at the end of the day, I went home, told my dad about the, my experience, and that was the first day of uh, intensive English language training in our household. When I was in grade eight, we moved to Toronto. Toronto, Canada. <coughs> Toronto is a wonderful, warm, safe, <coughs> cosmopolitan city. I grew up there. And I went to the University of Toronto, studied electrical engineering, and joined Bell Canada, which is a phone company over there. I've been in the telecom business ever since. After uh, several years after I got married and I had uh, my two sons, we moved to, the company moved me to Ottawa. And Ottawa is, it's fit only for polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's a wonderful city actually. It's, it's a great place to bring up your family. It's safe, good universities, good schools. Man, the winter is totally my speech is icebreaker and reminds me. We used 
my wife and I would spend seven months breaking the ice and <laughs> shoveling the snow uh, uh, every year. And uh, a time came when uh, she had had enough. So she said, that's it. We got to get out of here. <laughs> so I said, OK. Uh, how, how about moving back to Toronto? That's where a lot of our family is. And uh, she said, mm, why don't we move to California? <laughs> said, California? Man, that is so far away. That's on the other side of the continent. And she pulled out all kinds of statistics. And she said, no, it's great weather there, nice and warm. The snow is well behaved. It knows where to fall, <laughs> not in the cities, on the mountains. There's no humidity. There are not even any mosquitoes. And uh, lots of germs. In San Ramon, there are no mosquitoes. So I thought, hmm, interesting. So I checked it out, checked out a few opportunities. And within a few weeks, I landed a job in Musa Technologies in San Ramon. So in a few weeks, we moved there. And uh, we have been living there for the past 10 years, and we love it there. So uh, we believe that California is going to be our home until the next big one. <laughs> That's a scary thought. So uh, in a nutshell, I'm an ordinary guy. I'm a Toastmaster.